Today we're going to do a painting tutorial on just the mag. Um, if I like the way the mag comes out, I'll totally do it on the gun that it goes to. But, uh, so, today we have a two-tone... I don't know where I picked the cap for this. Anyway, so, <laughs> we have a two-tone camo today. We have a dark brown and a this green. So, we're going to do shake the for about two minutes. And hold the can, not like this, because it'll get all messed up and bad. So you're going to want to hold it about 8 to 10 inches away from the thing you're spraying. Okay. And just go across it, back, across it, back. All the way across the gun. In nice, light, even strokes. There's, this is a base coat right now, so we're doing a base coat of this green, and then we'll cover it with that. We'll do the, the outlining of, you'll see later. So, as you can see, this side right here isn't painted, so you gotta go on the other side. And do a little bit. Make sure you get all the little nooks and crannies. The bottom of it too. As you can see, my short one goes through a broken gun. Okay, so that right there would be your uh, your base coat. So you wait for this to dry. It'll probably take, according to the can, 15 minutes or less. They're retarded because it takes about five for you to be able to put another coat on at least. So as it dries to the touch in like 15 minutes, you can just touch it in like five. So what we'll do next after this dries is we'll add this. It kind of looks like crap, but huh? like horrible diarrhea, but <laughs> it's a sweet camo green. This, it, okay, this is not this is not blended pretty well for, for for spray paint because they don't have leaf colored spray paint. Yeah, yeah. Tell me. Okay, so now that we're done with the base coat, we're gonna do the actual camouflaging part. Even though we only have two colors, it still works out pretty nice. So you're gonna want to just take some local some leaves, things that you have around where you live and place them on the uh, place them on the object with probably most likely something you want to camouflage which would be a smart idea if you're going to camouflage it to put the camo on there but uh, so you're going to go like this and then you're just going to take your brown which I now have to shake you want to shake it for about two minutes but I don't really want to Okay, yes, I want to. Because that looks like crap. Oh, never mind. It looks silver from over here. <laughs> so, so, sis. Okay, so let's just take this as an example. So, see this, this uh, little brown? So, what you want to do is get it like that and then lift it up, it'll look something like that. It'll give you the nice outline of it. <laughs> don't put that much on there. Then. Don't go like that. Go like this. Strokes. Okay, so what we're gonna do now, now I'm pretty sure it's good. I have rocks all over me. So you're just gonna take it about six, six to eight inches away still. Just go like this. Go like that. And honestly, that's, that's all you really need. Just go like that. Times really quick. Maybe go like this. Get a little bit on the edge there. Mm -hmm. 
I have a two-tone camera. I mean, it's really simple, yet works really well on a green brown situation. Get a little bit. In there. Get a nice brown. There we go. So now the green doesn't stand out as much as a darker shade.